Sup sup flappers. Once again, we're here at YouTube live stream and we got chat here. Here, give it a chat, <clears throat> a high five right there. So today, as you see in the title, we're gonna be talking about the top five patch 2.0 features. And let me tell you straight off the bat, chat and I made this list together. Aww. If you guys ever think I am just a guy sitting in my bedroom coming up with these crazy ideas by myself, not this time, baby. Chat here was helping me. So out of the 300 something people here, we all got skin in this video. If you guys have something to talk, say bad things about this video and the list, hey, take it with these 300 people as well. I'm just one of them. Without further ado, if you guys enjoy this type of content, make videos every single day, be like these 300 people, subscribe to my channel, and join my Discord if you guys are looking for a community to be a part of. So now let's get straight into it. Number five. The new teapot gardening feature, the, the seed planting, the harvesting, really delving into the agriculture of Genshin. You can now build your own agriculture essentially in your teapot. I know it's not that extravagant and it's more of a new way to gain resources. But for the players who just don't enjoy going into other people's world, harvesting, <laughs> stealing, right, foresting these other people's materials, or they just don't enjoy the interaction, right? You got to go in and you got to be like, hey, can I please take some of your lily flower drips or whatever they're called? For those players, this is a great feature. I do think, though, it's not any higher on this list. We actually even thought about taking this off the list, but... Now looking back at it, I do think this is a great feature. It caters to a big portion of the player base who do enjoy the more slow paced, single player, non min maxing uh, side of the game where you can just plant your seeds there and you can forget about it. You can go in, oh, I remember I planted some of those seeds. Let's go grab some. And even for the hardcore players, you can kind of min max, like, you know, collect them, harvest them on cooldown. So a really great new feature, the teapot gardening feature, seed plant. Number four. The PlayStation Mahoyo account link. How can we forget about this? This was actually one of the first things I slapped onto this list. It, it had to be somewhere on this list because I do think having PlayStation players now, just like mobile players, are able to take their game and bring it over onto PC. That is a huge change. And in a way, when I do giveaways, I can also give PlayStation players some stuff now, all right? Some goodies. So you guys are not left out anymore. I think it's great. I'm not going to dwell on this too much because I personally don't play on the PlayStation. But just knowing that in patch 2.0 and going forward, people who want to play on PC, it doesn't matter what platform or device you play on, PC is always going to be an option. And that's just great to know. On to number three. We got the weapon banner changes. I know, stop. This is going to be the one that gets the most hate. I already know it. I can feel it. You guys are already like stretching out your hands being like, all right, Walrus, you're going down for this one. But listen, yes, in the moment when we look at it, it's a more of a whale feature it's for people who can drop 270 plus summon and a worst case scenario to pick up one of these weapons. But listen, all right, me and chat have been talking about the longevity of picking up a solid weapon. And we're always talking about the worst case scenario. Let me tell you, the worst case scenario for pulling on the character banner is 180 pulls. How many people have really had to pull 100? I can't even remember the last time I had to go to 90 pulls just to proc a character. So in essence, it's not as bad as we're making out to be. We're looking at the worst case scenario. If you get lucky, and let me tell you, how many of your friends get lucky during a character banner, right? Oh, I got a five-star proc at 20 pulls. I got a five-star proc at 50 pulls. We do get lucky. You will get lucky runs and you will thank this feature, right? This is a great feature that Mahoyo is, is adding into the game. And you just need to get a little lucky and ban. You can benefit from this feature. And for people who are not lucky, you can also save up over the long run. So for example, if we know eventually Staff of Homa is making a rerun and it's still gonna be the best pull arm, you can actually save up quite a bit of resources. And at that point, let's say you already built up all your characters, you're not interested in the character banners, it's time to divert some resources into the weapon banner. And let me tell you, this change is gonna save ass cheek, all right? It's gonna save people from going bankrupt and you're gonna thank this feature for that. So number three, the weapon banner changes, the safety protocols, I guess, essentially for the weapon banner. Really, really exciting. Number two, we got the showcasing of the future characters and the rerun of double new character banners. Now we haven't had something like this, I believe, since the Xiao and Hu Tao. 
right? That was back in patch 1.3, I believe. If I recall correctly, correct me if I'm wrong, Editor Kuhn, I'm sorry, but I think that was the last time we did get two new characters in one patch. And of course, Mahoyo showcasing the future characters Right, we've got a whole slew of characters just kind of shoved it in our faces. And I do think that going forward, if Mahoyo stays up with this, keeps up to date with this kind of transparency, maybe even more. Maybe Mahoyo is dipping their toes in the water and eventually they're going to be fully showcasing a lot of these characters. Maybe they're going to even show their weapon types, their element types, and giving us more insight to more content in development and we're kind of building this trust here with Mahoyo and of course the rerun of double new character banners how can we forget about that I know for a lot of free-to-play players they're, they're not, they're not going to be like too excited so well I'm not going to be able to pull both of these characters anyways because I have limited resources but it just feels like well you're not going to be able to pull for them but the people who are going to be able to pull for them can benefit from this while you can also get excited for one of the two characters that you are going to be pulling right so exciting exciting stuff i do love that they're bringing this back i think it's been long overdue and that uh after waiting for all these months through drier content this is a godsend finally we have number one, and I think at this point, you guys all know what it is. It's going to be the new region, the new content, artifact, weapons, all the new stuff. I can't wait to jump into Inazuma. I'm not going to be hastily playing through it because I know a lot of this content is going to be limited as well. It's not like there's infinitely new content, but the new region also comes with the MC getting the Electro element. That's so exciting. We did talk with chat here about potential changes to Electro as well as how there's a lack of change, but uh, they did mention they want to make Electro more overworld applicable. So I think with Inazuma, the new region, the new content artifact weapons, it's definitely gonna be worth the wait. I saw the live stream live. I believe a lot of people here did see the live stream live uh, here on my channel as well. Man, uh, I can't even put my finger on exactly what's going to be the most interesting because we got like new characters, right? We got new new region, got the new lore, we got artifacts, and we got five new four-star craftable free-to-play weapons. So with that being said, I think this is going to be the five most exciting. I, I worked through this with chat. Remember, it's not just me, all right? I worked through this with chat. So these are the five new two point, patch 2.0 features that I think are the most exciting and that i think you should look forward to these as well so with that being said chat here has helped me out so much with uh, this content creation and i want to thank everybody here uh we're going to be doing a kazuha giveaway so likely by the time you watch this is already too late so maybe you can comment down below and congratulate the winner but uh, we're going to be pulling for the winner on the next live stream so you can always tune in for that which is going to be next wednesday 14th of july so with that being said chat say goodbye let's do one more up top fan clap right there thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one until then stay safe and peace peace